Well, um, <clears throat> good evening. Our text for tonight is going to be from Matthew 17 and 18. And I'm going to be reading uh, for this message, Matthew 17, verses 1 through 20. So if you can, once you find it in your Bible, stand with me so we can read God's Word. Matthew 17. And after six days, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, his brother, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with him. And Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. He was still speaking when, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell on their faces and were terrified. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and have no fear. And when they lifted up their eyes, they saw no one but Jesus only. And as they were coming down the mountain, Jesus commanded them, Tell no one the vision until the Son of Man is raised from the dead. And the disciples asked him, Then why do the scribes say that first Elijah must come? He answered, Elijah does come, and he will restore all things. But I tell you that Elijah has already come, and they did not recognize him, but did to him whatever they pleased. So also the Son of Man will certainly suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them about John the Baptist. And when they came to the crowd, a man came up to him, saying, and kneeling before him, and said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic, and he suffers terribly. For often he falls into the fire, and often into the water. And I brought him to your disciples, and they could not heal him. And Jesus answered, O oh, faithless and twisted generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him, and the boy was healed instantly. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? He said to them, Because of your little faith. For truly, I say to you, if you have faith like a grain of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Bow your heads and let's pray. Father, we thank you for the privilege to gather here together and hear your word. Lord, I thank you for the blessing to be able to preach it to my brothers and sisters. And as Aaron already said, Lord, I pray that it would be your power and your spirit softening all of our hearts so that we can hear whatever it is you want to teach us. And Lord, may we leave this church tonight changed forever by your word. So Lord, we just ask that you glorify yourself through the preaching of your word and that we all can just come to know you more and love you more because of it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Sorry, I think it's funny that my wife has a nervous stomach and I have a nervous nose. <laughs> but anyway. Answered prayers are always encouraging to my faith. There's something amazing about presenting a need to the Lord and seeing Him pull through in some miraculous way. But how many times have we seen God answer our prayers only to get anxious and worried all over again the next time we're in a similar situation? We see the Lord guide us through a tough decision we need to make only to fret and get worried the next time a decision comes up.